Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. So if you haven't seen my other tutorial where I show you how to build this in React, this is basically an accordion dropdown that you can expand these different um, panels using React. If you haven't seen the tutorial, I definitely recommend you check it out. I'll, I'll put a link. But basically one of my subscribers asked me, is there a way to have all the other accordions kind of collapse once you've opened the other one, right? So if you have one open, for example, like this, and I clicked chocolate chip cookies, he wanted the other one to collapse or all the other ones to collapse. Um, and that is what I'm going to try to do with a live coding session. I haven't really prepared at all for this one. So we're going to figure this one out. But in a nutshell, if you wanted to have components kind of talk to each other in React, you need to pull state up, right? Either you need like a third party state management library like Redux or xState or whatever else there is out there, or you need to use some type of context. Or in my case, I'm just going to pull some state up and do prop drilling to basically push that state to other components. So we have the accordion um, component here, which I'll open up. And basically, I think what we need to do is we need to have like a top level state that tells us which accordion should be open. OK, so I'm going to add another state variable called, um, I don't know, I'll say accordion. Did I spell that right? Accordion opened and set accordion opened. I don't know why that's so hard for me to type. And that's going to be a state variable, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull in a state variable. And I'm going to go ahead and just put, I'll put null for right now. Uh, make sure we auto import this one. I guess uh, I'll just do this to auto import it. So what we could do is basically change the set accordion open to be whatever the user clicked on, right? So if they click on the first one chocolate chip cookies, we probably want to store that state somewhere. And then all of these accordions will kind of just keep track of which one's opened. And if them themselves are open, we can expand. OK, so that's kind of confusing, but let's just try to work it out. So I'm going to pass both of these to our component, OK, because all of these components need to know about each other and they all need a way to basically overwrite which one should be open. So inside of our component here, I am going to go just go ahead and paste in accordion opened is equal to that and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm passing the state and the setter into our accordion component. And at this point, we need to go into our accordion component and accept those. So I'm going to go ahead and accept accordion opened. And I'm going to accept set accordion opened. All right. So do some auto formatting to get that kind of on the same line. But what we want to do basically is instead of having the accordions themselves manage what is open or not, we can kind of remove that. So I'll remove the use state here. And instead of doing all this logic, like set is open, we basically just need to find some type of unique ID. So in this case, we'll treat the title as a unique ID. And whenever someone clicks on it, we can call that method instead. So set accordion opened. And we could just say, I don't know, title. All right, so this is just one way you can do it. We might have to do some refactoring here in a second. But basically, we want to expand the accordion if the title is equal to the one that we have opened, right? So remember that accordion open state that we have at a top level? That's going to be changed to the different accordion titles. You might want to use like a unique ID instead of a title. Um, and if that title matches the one that should be opened, that's when we expand the component. OK, um, and then down here, we do the same thing. So if title is equal to this, you can make this into a helper function if you want. I think I could do like const is opened, make that into a Boolean like that. And that might make this a little bit cleaner. All right, so hopefully if I click it, it should at least expand one. And it did. But now notice that when you um, try to click it, it doesn't close. So that solved the issue with, OK, how do, it, when, how do I close the other ones when I select any of them? And let me add a couple more accordions so this isn't so like such a basic tutorial. Let me just make sure these titles are unique. I'll add two more. And I'll say like Oreos. All right, so we have four types of cookies. And you could select between them. And notice that it closes the other. But again, the issue is if you click on the same accordion that's already open, it doesn't collapse. So I think what we need to do is go back to the top level. And we probably want to 
wrap this method in another method. So I could say like const toggle accordion opened. That could be a function that takes in the accordion that we want to toggle. And basically we can say if the current accordion is equal to the one that is being passed in, we can set this to null. Okay. Otherwise, we're just going to set it to equal to accordion. So bear with me. I need to turn off this animation because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I tried to add like animation so when I type and move my cursor, it like moves all around, but it's really distracting for some reason. But anyway, so now what I want to do is I'm going to pass that function instead to my accordion component down here. So instead of passing set accordion opened, I'm going to pass that toggle method, and that should do what we want now. Okay. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope that made sense. Basically, we just need to, instead of just setting it equal to a text every single time, we check, are we setting it to the exact same text that's already opened? And if it is, then we just set it to null so that none of these stay open. And then otherwise, we just do the normal functionality of setting the title equal to the other um, product that we have. All right, so that basically is it. If you thought this was useful, be sure to give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Also, leave me a comment below if you want to see me add more functionality to this accordion in some way, but I'm not sure what else I could really do. And then finally, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm going to have a lot of other React and web development tutorials for you in the future that can hopefully improve your web development game. All right, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Happy coding.